Live. Welcome back, everyone. This week's recipe of the week is being brought to you by Wide Open Food Company with their Anything Sauces, and you can check them out at anythingsauces.com. They have everything that you can see or, or that you can put some. Uh, really, Dayton? Really? I'm Dayton. I'm trying to do a show here, buddy. <laughs> I looked away. I had, what I is the deal away. here? I looked away. Hey, Marty, now, now you didn't get any help whatsoever from your better half tonight. Huh? You know how it is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I do. Mine's light. <laughs> I know, right? That's okay, though. I mean, as long as they keep us in tall cotton, we're in good shape, right? But, Marty, this recipe is already on the website. It is a great, great recipe. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, we've got the darn good meatball panini sub for you. It is unbelievable. And we had a, a friend of ours, ours help us out. Someone's in the kitchen, Charlotte. Yeah. Help us out because we're at the Southern Women's Show this weekend. So we've been blowing and going ever since we got back from Florida. But I got to tell you, Hugh, okay. we love the fishing down there too, just as much as we do here. Went on a drift boat out there. The kids were catching snapper. Uh, one kid caught a big old kingfish and he won the pot. So I didn't win the pot on the boat, dang oh, it. Oh, man. Barely had gas money to get home. You know Did how you it is. Did you steal his fish, though? That's no, the most he, important part. <laughs> he, was, he was a good kid. They actually had visited Nashville and we got to talking to him because he had a Nashville good. shirt on. So it was pretty neat. But yeah, this is a real easy one to make. And darn good is so amazing on these meatballs. Oh, yeah. We use them when we sample out there at the show and stuff. So if you're coming down to the Southern Women's Show, find us at booth number 1125, and we'll feed you some of this great food that we make with you our bet. anything sauces. So we say anything for everything. It's good on all this different food. But there's your darn good right there. You just take it and you put it on the meatballs. You can slow cook them in the, in the slow cooker, of course, or you can, you can brown them in the oven or a pan a little bit first. Kind of makes it like brown and hamburger. It gives it that yeah. extra little meat flavor, you know. And what we really love about it, how quick and easy it is if you're, you know, busy mom or whatever, you can make this and have the kids make their own meatball subs when they get home from school or something, you know. That'd be you good. just throw them, they just throw them on, on the bun. You throw it on the bun with some, with some cheese, whatever your favorite is. We use pepper jack on these, which kicks it up a notch, you know what I'm saying? We like it a little bit spicy and all that. Yeah. And then, actually, when you, when you add on uh, the meatballs onto your sub, you put a little bit more darn good on top of them so it's not too dry. Melt that cheese on there real nice, and we use our sweet kick coleslaw, whatever your favorite coleslaw is, folks, but we use the sweet kick right here. We make the coleslaw. It makes it real easy. Whip it out of the bag from Kroger, where you can find these sauces as well. You know, good old anything sauces are in the Pick Tennessee section, so you can grab those while you grab your coleslaw and your, and your hoagie rolls, or you can use a yeast roll, and a pretty easy way to kind of, you know, throw it all together. It makes a great, you know, dinner, snack, great lunch. Uh, you can throw, throw them together, and then you can picnic them to the boat. Let's try, yeah, let's try one of the meatballs on a hook. Maybe that'll work, right? Dayton? I ain't throwing it in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't giving them up, right? And, uh, and Dayton's not even going to give one of them up. <laughs> you, you know how it is when you, when you throw down this stuff, man. You're going to you're gonna have to fight them off the plate. You're not going to be able to get one unless you hurry up and eat some yourself. You know? That's so, awesome. I mean, Hugh, Hugh wants to take these right now. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to have to just Hugh kinda, didn't want to. Hugh I'm going to have to hide these over here and you know, kind of put some protection around <laughs> them. You know, and, oh, no, you're, you're, you're welcome to have oh, them all. Oh, hey. We love it when you eat our food because you tell everybody about it. Just tell everybody about it by anything that you make. You put hashtag anything sauces on your social media. Visit our website, anythingsauces.com. It's all about anything sauces. That's right. It's not any good unless you get some on you. You get some on you. That's right. Always wear white shirts, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you can check this recipe out along with many, many others on our website at southernwoodsandwaters.com. Click on the recipe section. This one's already up there. And Joy's got me on this panini stuff. I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know how I meant, but it, they taste really, really great, and so this should be right up there with that also. Hey, we uh, we appreciate Marty and them coming out here and talking to us this evening, and uh, uh, great, great recipe. Diana, uh, you got 12th. You beat three. No, wait a minute. There was five I women. So, I, I made a lot of you men. You beat 300 today. men and women. That's pretty impressive. Now, did you feel good on the last day? Did you, or was your nerves just, because you didn't do as good on your third day as you did the first two because of weather conditions? Yes, weather. Did that worry you? It, it did. It worried me a little bit, but I, I, you know, I caught the second fish and I was like, I got I was, a chance. I was a little relieved, you know, because I had two, and you can only have three. I can only have three, so I was a little relieved and I felt pretty good. And then the last day. He was sight fishing, and I got nervous. Yeah. 
and I, and he t and he told me I had a great boater, Kip Carter. He said, uh, "Let me catch my fifth keeper, and then I'm going to let you catch one." He said, "Is that fair?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." I said, "I don't want a zero." I said, no. "I don't want a zero." Well, early when, earlier in the day, I saw one cruising, and I, I hollered, and he went. He threw up there, and he caught it. It weighed six something, and I was like, "Oh my God." So when we just keep when it quiet for me. Well, yeah, I learned my lesson on that. But then, mm, when it was my turn to catch one, I saw it. I said, "I see one," and it, it was like 13 inches. I was like, "Man, well. I said something about the wrong one." But you know what? He was really patient. He worked with me about catching it on that, how to keep flipping in there. He said, you're making it mad. I said, it's making me it's mad because it's do. taking too much time. That's what you got to do. And, and I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. When you see those bedded fish, uh, stick with it. Uh, they may run off, but they're going to come back. Oh, yeah. They'll come back. And it's you just got to make them mad enough to where they want to bite it. And then uh, usually you'll come out pretty good there. Hey, we got to do our quick contest. Right now we have a slew of Strike King and Stan Sloan Zora Bates, and I believe there's a there's a Bible in here too. I want to give away also. So be the fifth caller here. Seven three seven 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 six seven. We got a great great package for you right here. We'll hurry back to more of Southern Woods and Waters.